Hey Virgo, how's it going? I hope everybody is doing well. For those of you that are new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Virgo, this is going to be what is coming towards you in terms of love for the month of August 2024. Um, for the general reading, I did announce I'm giving away two free love readings. So if you haven't um, seen that reading, go ahead and click down below. The link is there. For those of you that haven't subscribed as of yet, go ahead and do that. Um, not only will you get notification of the multiple readings that I post each and every day, I usually do three a day, Saturdays and Sundays or sometimes a little bit more, depending on what I've got going on. But by being a subscriber, you can take part in my monthly giveaways. As I stated for this month, two free personal love readings. Um, you and returning subscribers, go ahead and leave the word giveaway down below in the comment section of this reading and any other reading that you view during the month of August. At the end of each and every month, I randomly choose those people to win and I'll always reach out to you um, through YouTube. So I'll remind you at the very last weekend of each and every month to check your notifications. All right, let's get into it. Virgo, flirt, be lighthearted and be playful throughout the month of August. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. When you're playful, when you're lighthearted, when you're happy with your life, when you have that glow from your inside to your outside, um, of just feeling content of who you are, how much you love yourself, and you know, just being content on what has happened in your life. You will draw in so many people would be attracted to that energy. Let go of control issues. It's like waiting at a stove for a pot of water to boil. You'll never get back those 20 minutes of your life. And it feels like the longest process ever of waiting for that. When you think so much about things, so hard about someone, when you're constantly thinking about the past, and just not being able to move forward. When you were listening to reading after reading after reading on YouTube, I found myself doing that before my spiritual awakening. Nothing came to me because I was always listening to readings. I never really allowed myself to focus on what was around me. So just make sure there's a happy medium with that. And codependency addictions are affecting your your romantic life could have been dealing with someone who had some form of an addiction you might be going through that energy especially with the control issues here and thinking so hard on something that's a sense of like you know obsessing obsession or desiring toxic desiring you know what i mean All right, let's see what came out, Virgo. Distance, different state, different country. Separation between you and someone. You could even be traveling and meeting someone for the first time. St extending your lighthearted energy. You know, starting a conversation with someone waiting in the line to board a plane. You know, who knows what will happen. But that's what I mean. You have to be in the present. Put your head up and see what's around you. Because you may miss something amazing. This energy, even with this distance, I know that we are never truly apart. We had an instant connection that can never be matched. I'll travel the world to get closer to you. All right. And then we have your connection isn't real. Take what resonates because it's not going to be on point for each and every one of you. This could be advice of friends, advice of family, especially if there's, you know, two different, what, you know, two different spiritual paths, um, political paths, you know, dating within someone's culture and now dating outside of that and the influence of family and friends and what they have to say. This could even be children that you may have or that they may have playing that influence of like, well, why do you like that person? 
They're nothing like mom was. So why do you like that person? Or why do you like this person? They're nothing like dad was. You know, that type of energy. Let's see what it says. I was foolish to believe the opinions of others. I should have trusted my heart more than what others thought. Trusted my heart more than what others thought about our connection. Please forgive me for doubting us. Settling and critical juncture. Now, in distance, you know, as I stated, you may be settling with the distance that's between you and someone. You know, you may be settling for what be yet to come, for what might happen, but that's a might, you know? Yes, you're manifesting. Yes, you're thinking about someone specific or what you want for the future. But let's be honest. The universe spirit has a plan. So it may not show up the way you anticipate. But are you going to hold yourself back? Are you going to allow yourself to be, have that green light to take a leap of faith, even if it's different on where, the way it shows up in your life? Or are you going to put that red light, that hardcore no, and say, you know what? I'm waiting for this person to return. I know this person has feelings for me. I have not spoken to them in three years, but I'm going to wait for them to return. No, it doesn't mean you have to get out there and start dating. It just means you have to get out there and start living life. I know I'm not happy, but I feel that I have no way out. I can't walk away from my duties and my responsibilities. Please know I am not entirely happy. Right there, it says it. And let's see what Critical Juncture says. I know how I have, I now know, I now know, sorry guys. I now know, no, I know now, OMG. I know now I have control of my life. No one is holding me captive and no one is controlling my circumstances. I now recognize that I choose to be happy and it's with you. And that might be a message you need to say to yourself. All right, let's see. For my Virgo spirit. I do feel that there is someone notice, noticing you. Excuse me. I've got mask here. I hope I don't have the hiccups by doing your reading. I feel that there is someone that is going to travel forward. Someone who's eyeing you up. Someone who's like in the shadows watching from afar someone who hasn't come forward as of yet but it is your soul's purpose this is a fated partner that is coming towards you showing up in this reading a wet wow look at this virgo divine timing do you see this this person coming towards you it's going to feel like it was worth the wait In the meantime, focus on yourself. What is it that you still need to release? What is it that you still need to move on from? Not all of us have a crystal clear path in terms of love and relationships. If we did, I don't know how many people would resort to a spiritual awakening, um, to tarot cards, to oracle messages from our spirit guides. I don't know how many people would really turn towards that if we had this crystal clear clear, amazing life in terms of love and romance, right? No. It's through those cracks in our soul, through those disappointments, that we reach out for something deeper. For someone that, you know, that we have that faith in the unknown to take the wheel and help us through some difficult time. So why not focus on yourself in the meantime? All right. Let's see what else we got. We're going to do your energy, theirs coming towards you, past, present, and future. All right. Your energy. Yeah, you want to make an amends with someone. 
Who is this person you're thinking about, Virgo? Because you do, you want to make an amends. And I have to say, I feel you have got the best intentions when it comes to this person. Right now, it is showing up as a pause. So I do feel, but I also feel that you're putting your life on hold, waiting for this to happen. All right, their energy is the Ace of Swords. Could be an air sign, but I feel Archangel Michael has a play in this. Divine guidance, divine breakthrough here. This has got the potential for long-term, successful, honesty spoken. So that is an awesome energy that they're showing up in. Temperance. Yeah, Virgo. Okay, so they want to heal this connection with you. There is a healing happening. King of Wands energy. Very attractive to one another. I feel you're going to be very confident. You and this person communicating about what you want. A lot of passion and chemistry exists between the two of you. This is like a natural born leader type of energy. Someone who likes to take charge, may even have their own business. Well known, stands out in the crowd. And the King of Swords. I feel within this pause, Virgo, both of you are seeing things from a different perspective. I feel you're aware of the connection. But it's almost like an aha moment is happening here. But I also feel, like I said, that you are overthinking this connection, this person. And as I stated in the very beginning, it's stunting the growth here. Queen of Cups. Ten of Wands. King of Cups. Justice. Three of Coins. Alright, I am picking up on an extra energy here. We have the King and Queen of Cups, we have the King of Wands, and we have the King of Swords. Now, this extra energy could be someone of the past. This could be, you know, if you have children, if they have children, co-parenting and, you know, the exes, um, or the, I shouldn't say exes, the, the, the other parent showing up in this reading, if they play an avid part or if they interfere, avid part, co-parenting you know, doing it well, or using children as a way to move your person or you as a puppet. You know what I mean? Um, but I am picking up on an energy. You might have met this person through work or business, and either you or they have someone at home. But I feel, overall, you both want this. What this burden is, what is keeping the distance, what is having people talk crap on this connection? You want to overcome that. You want to lie down the burdens, work it out together, and you want to move forward together as a team. I feel this person's intentions with you is to do it long term. You can see this part, that both of these people are aged, grayish, whitish hair, older, right? And I feel that this person's long game is to be with you. Wanted, wanting to do it together rather than apart. I feel like they want to balance the scales out. All right, let's see. Please clarify Virgo's reading spirit. The Nine of Cups. The Chariot. Yeah, there's the aha moment that you are each other's wish fulfillment. I love when that moment takes place. It's like, you know what? I can't let Virgo go. I can't let them go. I have to reach out to them now. You know what? I'm just going to leave work. I'm going to head over to their house. I'm going to let them know. 
you know, it's like when emotions get the best of you and it's like a flood, the gates of emotions flood open. Yeah, they've realized that they're missing you. And I, again, I feel a very strong soul connection here, Virgo. of faith taken on both your parts now we obviously have um interracial right here so for those of you that that resonates we also have two men side by side for those of you that resonate with the same sex you have to get really deep with tarot you know so pick out really see in each reading that you watch not just of my own but other tarot readers how it works out for you Obviously, this is the, I always say Cupid's arrow, but it's Sagittarius's tattoo right there. That's why I try to hold them up to the camera so you can really see deep what might be grabbing your attention. But there is that leap of faith being taken. All right, let's get final messages. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for Virgo for love for the month of August? Yeah, there's the reminiscing, the nostalgia. You had something magical that you added to this person's life. It's almost like reading between the lines. Right now, it's like their actions may be elsewhere. They're intentions their focus may be elsewhere but I feel that you know deep down that they have true feelings for you that their intentions are real oh boy hold on guys I dropped it twice but I want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck there is the hurdles that you're going to overcome that spark that you're going to find within one another with the firefly. It's, again, be flirty, be uplifting, be lighthearted um, towards one another. Because you do, you share that soul bond. And your lighthearted energy, your flirtiness, your happiness that you brought to their life, that's what they're attracted to. That's what they'll always be attracted to. You are going to overcome these hurdles together. All right. I love it. I love it. Just remember getting back to the control issues. Do not put your life on hold for anyone. Do not settle while, you're, while you feel like you're holding out for one person. Don't settle. It doesn't mean you have to get out there and date and find someone else. No, it just means you have to live. X. T O D N U H I blank scrabble tile. All right, take what resonates. Go ahead and leave the word giveaway new and returning subscribers in the comments section below. Um, anytime you want me to tune into just your energy, Virgo, click on the link that'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. There, I offer a variety of readings. My, my shop is reopened and there is a sale going on. Love and light.